Prosecutors have requested up to 21 years in prison for around 30 people, including some former government officials, for crimes such as fraud and money laundering as part of the so-called 3% case. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Politicians, businessmen and 16 legal entities are accused of rigging public tenders in exchange for commissions to illegally fund the old Convergencia political party for years. CDC converted into PDCAT in 2016 before most senior figures joined Junts in 2017. This year saw the warmest and driest October anywhere in Catalonia. With the drought worsening, electricity company Endesa will be forced to temporarily stop production at one of the country's biggest hydroelectric power plants this month. Ha portat que estén en uno de los años de pichor producido de, de la serie. Tendrían que remontarnos al año al año eh, muy tanta no para trobar un año con una producción tan baixa. Electric vehicle charger manufacturer Wallbox has signed a deal with Uber to help the ride-sharing app transition toward having a fully electric fleet. A new public ride-hailing app for taxis was launched today. Called Pick Me Taxi, it will allow users to request cabs and will be compulsory in the sector. The world's best master chocolatier has been named as 26-year-old Catalan Yuk Cruceyes. The Osona native triumphed after creating sculptures such as a 200 kilogram, 3 meter tall elephant out of chocolate. Totalmente orgánica, uh, texturas de, de terra seca que, que fan també que tinguis una mica de consciència, pues una mica això, no? Amb la natura i amb que tenim al voltant i com estem cuidant el planeta. The world's largest wooden ocean sailing ship is currently docked in Barcelona, where it will spend the winter. The Gothenburg of Sweden is available to visit on weekends.